you think of the way the offense responded there in the top of the ninth inning, getting you guys back in it, and eventually getting the win? Yeah, it was huge. Um, you know, just one of the many reasons I think this what makes this team special. Um, just to answer there, uh, you know, Garrett obviously through the gym there. Um, so it's nice just to you know be able to come back and respond and uh, get this you know win. How frustrating was that eighth inning for you? Yeah, um, you know, probably with just one pitch maybe there to Mejia. I wish I could have back, but um, just a couple more knocks that um, you know just found a way to you know either get the right guy in or um, get a hit so um, a couple unlucky you know bounces but um, I don't know they just did a good job of putting the bow on the ball when they needed to hey, how do you look at the consecutive voting streak that finally came to an end for you both my own trick and we talked to you about that in Toronto sort of how do you compartmentalize it now that it's over yeah I mean uh, just got to take it you know one at a time you know it's kind of my you know, thought processor and, um, you know, just what I've been doing all season. So, you know, I think just that, um, you know, maybe a new streak starts, but, you know, yeah, I take it one at a time, and that's kind of the mindset I've had um, this whole season so far. Clay, you've known Garrett for a very long time. Does it surprise you that he doesn't have a no-hitter yet? <laughs> uh, honestly, I mean, yeah. I mean, his numbers are um, pretty crazy. You know, even, you know, just the advanced you know, stats numbers is third time through. They're still really good for him. So, um, yeah, I think it was, he'll get it one day. And he was close tonight. And uh, I don't know, hate that I hey, we gave him for runs and gave him off the hook there for a win. But, you know, he definitely deserved, uh, uh, you know, a big uh, accomplishment for what he did tonight.